In this video, I will show you how to integrate SmartSuite, Fellow, and Make. That way you can create a multi-step workflow based off of a form submission. So if you're interested in taking your processes and workflows and applications to the next level, you're going to want to check this one out. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach Stevenson. I am a business processes and no code consultant. If you have questions about streamlining your processes, send me a message or book a free consult using the link in the description below. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Filo to upload or move information or data into your database. It's like Smart Suite or Airtable. And then at the same time, Filo is going to instead, how we used to have to do it, is do a webhook call to make. There's now a NATO integration. So now you would have access to all the information that you submitted to the form. And I also believe it's a little bit more secure that way as well. So uh, what I will be showing you how to do is connect Filo to Smart Suite and also connect Filo to Make, and then also uh, initiate the automation at the same time that you're moving data or passing data into Smart Suite. So the purpose and a use case for something like this that I am currently using uh, with one of my clients is when they submit a form. In this case, it was a packing slip. Once it's signed by the client, the invoice is created within QuickBooks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a spreadsheet that it's going to move the data into. But if you use Zero or uh, QuickBooks or some other accounting software, you can accomplish the same thing, move the data into one of those accounting programs. So to get started here, you will need a Smart Suite or Airtable or whatever your database that you use for your business is. I like Smart Suite and you are going to have to make the connection into fill out. So you're going to have to create a fill out account, a make account and smart street account. If you do not have those already, but once you have your database, I'm keeping it really simple. Basically the info I want is a uh, full name, the date, uh, some of the items and the amount. So I've got that set up here and I'll move into fill out. I'll click the new form and we're going to click connect here because it does have a native integration. So you can select one of these three here or go into another integration and just continue on selecting your theme. None of this matters for the point of this video. Uh, so then we're just going to create a new invoice. And again, your workflow is going to be a little more specific. It might be a few additional steps. This is probably not a real workflow, but it's showing the core elements of how to get everything set up. So once we have the account or the form creative, we can go into integrations here and select smart suite. I already have a connection, but what you will do, if you do not already click add new, you can name it, whatever you want. This is just for your own reference. Later on, you'll need to pull the API key from smart suite, which exists up in the top right corner of smart suite down to API key. And if you scroll down. There's the API key right here. So if you click on it, it will show up. That is unique to you. Don't give that information out to other people or they can integrate with a lot of your solutions. So you'll copy that. You'll also need to copy this eight alphanumeric characters here. And you put API key there and the workspace ID there and click create. But as I said, I already have a connection made, so I will continue with it. What you'll also need to do is then select your solution. Mine is called invoicing. And you'll also need to select the app, which is the name here. But mine is just invoice. And I can continue. We're creating new records. Done. So that integration to our database is complete. Later on, we'll come back and click this make integration. But we're first going to set up the form. So the first thing I need is the uh, full name. I will add, add that information. I'll maybe want to add items. Could do date. And the last thing I will want is the about. Uh, there's additional settings and a functionality downside here on each type of field. There's logic and validation and you can get uh, pretty customized with the settings, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll just leave it as is. So basically what we're going to do is just add the full name. We're going to add the items that maybe the client, customer, whoever is purchasing. We'll select the date and we'll enter the amount. 
here, you can log into your make account, go into scenarios, create a new scenario. I already have one started here. Um, and then the very first thing that you want to do is bring up fill out. So you can search for it and select the fill out integration. We're going to watch for new responses and we're going to create a new webhook. Uh, so you can name this, whatever you want. We'll just call this new invoice and we'll create the connection because we do not have the connection yet. So create new connection again, call it whatever you want. And it will bring up fill out because I'm already logged in. I can just click authorize here and we should have the connection made successfully. And we have, so then the next step, we need to select the form we're using. I named it new invoice. We can select new invoice and save. And that will create the webhook for us, create the connection, and we should be good to go. So from here, the next steps, what you will need to do is set up a couple of things. So um, depending on what you're trying to do, if you're just trying to pass the data directly from the form into your accounting software, like QuickBooks, you could probably just go from fill out directly into QuickBooks. Again, I'm using Google Sheets. Um, just for the demonstration, uh, but probably what you'll need to do is create the, or start the automation. So it's going to bring in the information that we submit. I'm going to use just a sleep for a few seconds to make sure that that information gets passed into smart suite before the process continues, because I am getting a smart suite record. So fill out is going to submit the information here. It's going to create the uh, fill out submission ID as well within that record so that we can reference it back and make, and then we're going to add a new row in Google sheets, but in most people's cases here, probably some sort of accounting software. So we have to make the smart suite connection very similar to what I just showed you. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. So we're going to get a record that's going to be the module we need from the invoicing and invoice. So again, depending on where you have yours saved and we're going to search by fill out submission ID, because we're going to pass that data through to fill out. Um, and we're going to search for that value there. All right. Sorry. We're going to pass that data from fill out into smart suite. So how that looks is back in fill out. We got the information here. We're going to go into integrations, smart suite. And we're going to look at the fields down the left side here. So we got the full name, items, date, and amount. Those automatically connected for us. The other thing we will want to do is select the um, fill out ID field. So fill out to mission ID, because that's how we have it named back in Smart Suite. And we're going to pass the submission ID through. So now we're going to hit done. Go ahead, publish this. And now what will happen is when we open the form and we submit it, this form, the data will pass in here. The automation will start. It's going to wait for a few seconds. And then it's going to get that record back in smart suite. We're just going to check that we make got this all set up correctly. That looks good to me. And we're going to then pass the data into our accounting software. And we can do that by using the uh, either get record or directly the answers that are submitted from fellow. So that's probably just as easy. So we'll just pass in full name. We can pass in the date, pass in the amount and items and the invoice number. So we're getting that invoice number from the record in smart suite. We're going to hit okay. I will save this. So there's a module that's not existent here that says, so something is wrong. Submission ID. That's the problem here. So I got to get the new submission ID I'm from Philip. That okay. Again, hit save. And we should be good to go. So I can turn this on. So we got make connected and active now. So back here, we can put in our name. 
items today and amount will be $250. So we can hit submit. I can look back here. It's now logged information. Here's the fill out submission ID. So we can see all of the data. We got the amount, full name, date, items. So we're good to go there. Back in make, we can see that if you go into the back out here, history, you see that it was a success. So this was done at today and everything went through. There's four operations. Looks like everything went through properly. Um, so from here, we can go into the accounting demo. Well, this is your accounting software and it's now passed in name, date. You'd have to make that the date field. Passed in the amount, item number, and we got the invoice number back from SmartSuite. So basically, again, what this is doing is it's saving the data in SmartSuite and also saving the data in your accounting software. So that's kind of a long-winded way of explaining it, but hopefully it was uh, clear enough to get you started. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. I'll uh, leave a comment in the, in the comment below. And uh, hopefully this was very helpful for you to get started with the make and fellow integration. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, again, please leave a comment and uh, hit that subscribe button for more tips, tricks, and tutorials in the future. Thank you.